Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. I thought it'd be a good time to give my yearly update on the most valuable card I have ever owned, or uh, that, that may not be the case anymore, but certainly the best purchase I've ever made from a long-term hold uh, ROI perspective. And that is my 2003 Topps Chrome Black Refractor LeBron James rookie. I first posted a video about it in uh, March of 2020 and then did a follow-up in April of 2021. And uh, now a year plus later, let's uh, see how it's doing. So for those who do not see either of the first two videos, I bought the card raw for $800 back in 2016. I sent it into PSA myself and it came back a, a mint nine. I knew it had no chance at a 10 since it was a bit off center top to bottom. A nine was really the best it could get. So I was happy with the nine. And at the time it was, some, uh, it was worth something like $1,500 in a PSA nine, but I decided to hold on to it as opposed to sell it. Sort of a random decision for me at the time. It was not a card I would normally hold on to it was much more the type of card I would just sell for the $1,500 and, and take my $500 profit or you know whatever it was. Lucky for me that I held on to it as just a few years later, it was a $10,000 card. I started my YouTube channel and one of the first videos I did was about this card and how it had such a crazy price jump from $1,500 up to $10,000 in just a few years. Uh, here's a couple of clips from that initial video. Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Uh, today I get to show off one of my best ever purchases um, although if I'm being honest, it's really one of my luckiest ever purchases. It's 2003-04 Topps Chrome Black Refractor. Um, it was ungraded at the time. And now, uh, during this past season, the, the Lakers obviously were just, you know, dominant all year long. Looked, looked like they were on their way to a title. Uh, the card has just skyrocketed again. It's selling for well over $10,000 now. Uh, and the card has such high demand that there are sellers just asking insane prices uh, and, and they're getting it. Oh, how young and immature I was back then. Nothing like the immaculate representation of the human species that I am today. But uh, here's what I decided to do with the card, which I mentioned at the end of the video. So now once again, you know, here I am, my instincts, I still own the card. My instincts start to sell it again. I mean, the card can't, you know, possibly go up anymore, right? I mean, $10,000. Um, and I'm not a huge LeBron fan. I, I don't have much a personal attachment to the card other than it's you know providing this cool story uh, but but once again it's as of march uh 20th i'm gonna you know hold on to it again against my better judgment so we'll uh, see if it backfires this time i guess I, I really can't lose at this point um and you know i guess i'll make another video a year from now uh, either about how brilliant i was or, or how big a, a boo boo i made not selling it at, at the peak so that was before the big sports card boom of 2020 and 2021 uh, I posted the follow-up video a year later, like I said, in April of 2021, and that's when things were the absolute most insane. Here's a few clips from uh, that second video. Just to quote myself, with the season being shut down now, it'll probably drop a bit. I mean, it can't possibly go up from here. I mean, $10,000. Well, uh, I have absolutely no problem admitting that that was one of the worst predictions of all time. I'm actually quite happy that it was. Uh, I was wildly, wildly off, and uh, no problem with that whatsoever. Not only did it go up from there, it went way, way up. Here is a list of every known sale of the card in a PSA 9. There have been 11 sales in total. Uh, you can see basically every sale has been on eBay except for one golden auction sale in there. Uh, it peaked out with a sale of 90K in late January and uh, the two most recent sales have been in the 70s. So at that point I was in the card for $800 plus you know, grading fees and it was now an $80,000 card. So basically a 100X move over five years or so, basically a dream scenario for for anyone. I asked everyone in the comments, uh, you know, to leave in the comments, what, what what would you do in that situation? Would you sell the card or would you hold on, continue to hold on to it? I was really curious to hear what people thought. And it was basically a 50-50 split. About half of you said, hold on to it. It's going to keep going up. And the other half said, you know, sell, sell, sell now, get as much as you can for it. I told a couple of my friends who were not card people, you know, the story, and they all looked at me like I was crazy. Like, go sell this card immediately was sort of the the standard uh, response from them. But I had already decided what I was gonna do by the time I posted the video, and uh, here's how I ended that second video. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna keep holding on to it for now. I may, may sell it at some point, but at, at the moment don't have plans to, sort of sort of against my better judgment, but just gonna uh, ride it out for now. I mean, uh, you know, the card can't possibly go up from here. I mean, $80,000, right? You know, uh, I'll probably make another video in a year from now about how brilliant I was or how big a boo-boo I made not uh, selling it at the peak. Okay, so before we get into what it's worth today and how brilliant or moronic I was, I'll just give quick specs on the card. It's a 2003 Topps Chrome Black Refractor LeBron James rookie. The base chrome is arguably LeBron's single most iconic card in the hobby, and if not number one, it's easily top five. There are four refractor parallels. There's the, the standard refractor, the black refractor, the X-fractor, 
and the gold refractor. The gold is at a 50, the X refractor is at a 220. Uh, the regular refractor is not serial numbered, and as I mentioned, the, my black refractor is out of 500. It's currently a PSA pop 76 with 21 copies higher, meaning 21 PSA 10s. I took snapshots of the pop report for each video before, and you can see the pop counts have, uh, haven't really gone up much. In, in the last year plus, uh, there have been four more nines have been graded and one additional 10. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes here. You know, what is the card worth today? Well, here were the known sales of a PSA 9 prior to the first video that I posted. Remember in the first video, I was claiming the card was a $10,000 plus card, which based on the sales here was of course accurate. Here were the sales that occurred, uh, occurred between the first and second video. You can see it rose pretty quickly from 10K to 20K to 30K to 40K, and then it just sort of exploded up to 80K with one sale even reaching 90K. And here are the sales since the second video, just a steady decline, 80, 70, 60, then a bunch of sales around 50, sort of at the beginning of the 2022 year, and then recently a PSA 9 sold for 32K on PWCC. I think that sale was probably a tad low, uh, but not much, as there have been a bunch of sales this year of BGS 9s all right around 30. I would expect the PSA 9 to do you know, better in comparison to the BGS 9, but again, not, not by a whole lot. Uh, just a quick unrelated side note, I found it really interesting that before the price boom, basically all the sales were on eBay, but since the boom, selling high-end cards has really moved off of eBay and towards the high-end auction houses like Golden, Heritage, and PWCC. I, I sort of knew that inherently, but hadn't really thought about it, but this is sort of interesting evidence that that's clearly what's happened. But anyway, let's zoom out and look at all the sales of a PSA 9 over the last six years on a single chart. This is actually every known sale of the card in a PSA 9. And actually, you could argue that this is very representative of the hobby as a whole. For context, here is where I posted the first video, and here is where I posted the second video, and of course, uh, here is where we are today. So I obviously missed out selling at the peak. Big missed opportunity for sure. You know, it might hurt a little bit to think about, but that's part of the game. When you're a dealer or a long-term investor, you know, timing the market is basically just impossible. Most of the time, you just sort of have to do your best and try to get more right than wrong. And, you know, I was well aware of the risk back then that the card could drop at any time. I was fully aware of it and I was okay with it and I, I still am. I mean, I'm in the card $800, it's a $30,000 card. To complain about that would, would seem sort of silly. You kind of have to have like a Jedi mindset sometimes in this, uh, in this industry. But at this point, I'm just going to continue to hold it. It's a long-term hold for me, one of LeBron's most important rookies. His career is winding down, but, uh, you know, he still has things left to accomplish. Breaking the all-time scoring record, perhaps even playing with another team, Any, anything can happen. But... I'm sort of fine to wait and see where it all shakes up long term. But again, I'll, I'll ask all of you, if you were in my position owning a $30,000 card that you had bought for 800, but uh, it was an $80,000 $80, card just a year ago, what, what would you do? Just curious to hear what others uh, think about it. And last thing I'll say, when I made the second video, I never actually showed myself handling the card. I would just show clips from the first video and still images of the card. And a few people wrote in the comments that they thought I was lying and I didn't actually own the card. And I thought that was kind of weird to be accused of that for no real reason. But just so that that doesn't happen again, here is the card. It's mine. It's a Black Refractor LeBron James PSA 9. It's serial numbered 028 out of 500. I keep it at the bank in a safe deposit box, but pulled it out for the sake of this uh, video. But that's it. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Really interested to hear what people have to say in the comments. And may the force be with you. Thanks everyone.